sorry, Jose and um, Arsene Wenger admitted that Gabriel deserved to be sent off, but he also felt that Diego Costa deserved a red card for the same incident. What What is your view? You know, my view is 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 this, and uh, that's why uh, sometimes. I'm very proud of, 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 of my people and my clubs and I, I played against Arsenal, I don't know, 12, 15, 18 times, I don't know. And only once he didn't moan. And in that day, in that day, we lost the game, we lost the cup, it was not good for us. We behave in, in a fantastic way. No excuses, not crying, not moaning, just Mr. Jose Mourinho, my players, and Chelsea Football Club. But you didn't answer the question then, whether you thought he should have got sent off. No, this is my question. This is my question. I, I, I played my, my first derby on the 20-something of September 2000, Benfica against Sporting. And I told my players before the game, um, to win derbies, you need emotional control. Without emotional control, forget you don't win. I played derbies in Portugal, in Spain, in Italy, in England again. And it's something, I repeat, every derby, you don't win without emotional control. It's, it's, it's a basic thing of, uh, of the game. It's a basic thing of the game. I think you should speak about Gabriel Paulista, good player. You should speak about him and about his mistake. If you want to speak about Diego Costa with me, if you want to speak about Diego Costa with me, is just to say he played like he has to play. And that's why you have full stadiums, you sell to televisions all around the world for millions and millions, because the game has to be played like that, okay? And that's why tomorrow, I couldn't go yesterday, I go tomorrow for what I consider comparable in terms of dedication and passion. Jose. New Zealand against Argentina. I go tomorrow because I love it. Fantastic, Diego. Yeah, but they do their best to play within the rules, whereas I don't think Diego Costa Which done. rules? Your rules? There's slightly more rules in rugby than our own football. Don't get around that by him. Andy. The players don't Andy. understand. Andy. I think the technicality of, of the Costa incident was him putting two uh, hands in the face of the defender, hitting the defender with the, the swinging arm, and then involved in everything else. He probably could have had three or four yellow cards for all of that. You answer specifically about that. Do you think any of those things could have led, led to a red card, or is that playing within the grey areas of the rules to be a top striker? I can guess that when you were a kid, you were playing badminton. <laughs> badminton. <laughs> ah, you didn't play rugby. Don't, don't <laughs> play rugby. Play, rugby. play badminton. It's a great, it's a great sport. Badminton is a great sport. Man of the match for me. Of course not. The referee, the referee was there. The referee was there. Was the same referee that made every decision of the game. Was the same referee that didn't give two penalties clear for us. So it's also rules of the game what Gabriel Paulista did to did to Eden Hazard, which was <coughs> something that is allowed in rugby and is not in football. And in the box is a penalty. Is in the box is a penalty. And in the second half, I don't know which player it was, but did the same on, on Diego Costa. In rugby, is fantastic. In football, is a penalty. But he should have still been sent off. Uh, sent yeah, off. The FA, Arsene Wenger said the FA should look at it and obviously they have that recourse to some of the Diego Costa instances. Are you worried that you might do some for three games? Look, I think he told before the game that I have to cope. I have to cope with, uh, with my defeats. Tonight he has to cope with his defeat. Okay. Bye.